guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're back with the a to z we're a little bit out of order we're playing on her there's like a couple gods in between but on her is the next adc and we're playing adc look at that so we're playing on her okay you got it you follow you're gonna make jokes about how i'm getting the letters wrong oh my god every video man if i do anything that's not a to z within a minute literally within a minute of uploading i'll be <laughs> i'll get a comment mast doesn't know the alphabet oh my god Oh my god, stop. It's been like, there's been like two videos like this. The joke is dead, man. You, I know you guys are going to comment it anyways, but <laughs> I've already seen it enough, man. I really have. What you, what you got, Sylv? Oh, he's got the normie build. Kind of? Wait, what is... Does he? Is it normal to go? I don't know if it's normal to go Lotus Crown right away or not. If people tend to do that much on Sylv. Obviously, in general, they tend to build it a bit. Bully the Kumba! <laughs> There's something so, uh, I love just the, the emphasis on Honor Impale. When you get that, like, just enough range to it, man. Look at that disc passive go, by the way. We got Discordia passive already. When you get just enough, uh, range to it, it just feels like that shit, like, insta-TPs them into the wall. Which I guess doesn't sound like it's satisfying, but it is when you actually do it. Damn, this man is still not level 2. How is he still not level 2? Okay, I wanted to go for, like, a tiny bit of pressure. We should really do the camp. Yeah. So I might have messed up. I only got one mana pot. So far, we're just kind of already bullying and already on track to run Oom. So I don't know if that'll work out or not. I'm very hopeful this Sylv doesn't troll. I played with him, I guess, literally last game. And uh, he just got mad and trolled. So <laughs> maybe, I don't know if we need to like win from the start or if it was just a bad one. Maybe I missed stuff. I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't even on his side of the map. I was solo. Um, but yeah, hopefully we don't get trolled by our support this game. We'll have to see. We might be in for something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. He, if he didn't want to use it for first purple, I don't know why he didn't just hold it for second purple. I don't know. He did save like a whole two autos. That's insane. That is some value right there, baby. Hang on. We actually maybe going to do something right here. Let me get this power spike and then hit him with one. Uh, never mind. We didn't get the angle for it. I was hoping we could actually get behind him or get to the side of him. Something where we don't throw him like, you know, straight away. I don't think we commit to that. It's not really a big deal. Nice, we got his passive huge. Okay, can I get it? Oh, and he lets me get it too. I mean, we might have gotten it anyways, but he like saved the auto. Nice, we, we kind of played that pretty perfect right there. This is actually really good synergy. Like he CC'd Kumba really well to set up for us and then we were able to uh, to hold the impale so we didn't troll and we, we just got the damage and we didn't CC him to his own tower. We probably should be able to do their purple here. Was there actually a boy? Is there a boy? Do I need to be worried? Oh, there's a Kumba. That's a, yep. Let me dip. We're definitely not in trouble. We just need to, you know, probably not 2v3. I'm just going to try and do our own purple. Because our jungle's on the other side of the map, so I don't really want to let Kama get the chance to invade. So, uh, so on her. Do we need to talk about on her? Is there a point when on her has got to be by far my most ADC played on the channel? Probably not. I think we're probably not going to dive too much into the kit. Um, there's not, I, I don't know. He's got kind of a mechanically intensive kit, but other than that, it's, I feel like it's really not that complicated, right? S slow is good. So people like it. Pillar do wall sometimes. Jump CC. Like, I don't, there's really not that much to on her, right? We don't need to talk about it. We can just play some on her, yeah? Because normally with the ADC, especially the gods I'm not playing as much. Uh, did I say did I say the ADC? <laughs> normally with the A to Z, um, I'm going to break down gods a little more if we don't play them a lot. And because it's an A to Z, um, a lot of the time, I might not play them that much. Why am I getting out farmed? I have the kill. <laughs> I, I'm actually really confused. Why does he have more farm than me? Like, even if he had a bonus creep, it doesn't really make sense. What happened? Did I, like, really miss farm at some point by a ridiculous amount? I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. I really don't. All right. Anyways, um, I don't know. Maybe my mind broke just now. I do realize, for some reason, I realized that I, like, you guys ever just kind of forget what happened 30 seconds ago? That just happened for me. I was starting to talk, and then I don't remember what I did in Smite other than the stuff I said. So maybe I did something really dumb and we just missed farm? Probably not. That's probably not what it is. When you play the game enough, you do just get autopilot, right? As you do with anything. As people do driving cars, you guys ever think about how much you autopilot stuff that's like actually potentially dangerous, like driving a car? That's wild, man. The amount of stuff that like 
You can totally, like, like, maybe you're thinking about how good some ice cream would be right now. And then, like, you realize that you've been thinking about that ice cream for the past, like, 30 blocks. And you totally could have just run somebody over. But you don't, because your mind actually pays attention, even if you don't realize you're paying attention. That's kind of weird, right? Isn't that crazy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how he got onto this, but, but yeah, it is, isn't it? Kind of. Are you, what? What am I hearing? Is he actually on camp and just terrified? Or did it just like his three come up? Because I heard a Heim noise. But Heim does just make noises sometimes. All right, I think we're going to be getting our trains done pretty quick here. We'll look to back about as soon as possible to get that finished up. What's he building? Almost same exact build. He's got Desthole instead of uh, Cal. Yeah, we are going... Um. God, actually, I don't even know... When do you build? When is it actually better to build Death Toll at the moment? I don't even know normally. We're just kind of going Cal on on her because we like attack speed. Is is basically what it came down to. Honor tends to suffer from it, so I thought we'd go Cal. Um, I think in general Cal tends to be a little bit better than Death Toll slash like Death Embrace or Death Temper at the moment. But but I actually don't know. Like like on Heim, I guess maybe that's what it is. Maybe at the moment. It, um, ADC items are actually balanced enough, or ADC starters are actually balanced enough, I suppose, that, like, if you somehow abuse Death Toll a little bit, it's probably worth. We don't. Like, if you're Charybdis, you get bonus autos. If you're Heim, you can cleave. Stuff like that. Alright. We got our trans done. Does he have his trans done? Maybe not. We'll have to see when he comes back. He probably does. He's probably not gonna back in. Oh, he's going this. What year is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How long has it been since Dom Rush was popular? I don't think I ever liked it, but people did it a while ago. It hasn't been that long, right? It's only been a few months. It's weird me out. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've seen it. It probably hasn't been that long. Yeah, I've never been a fan of the Dom Rush man. Like I, I get the idea, but but doing damage early is nice, right? Excuse me. Oh, don't you even think about it, Heim. I'll start clapping. I'm pretty sure their camo legit just died, so I think we get to be aggro. It's also easier to be aggro when he wastes the one like that. So let me jump on his face in a sec here, see if he's ready. You gonna two? He is gonna two. Man, I hit the autos, I don't hit the two. <laughs> the two does a lot more damage. It'd be good if we hit the two. All right, we probably, no, Cam is mid. I was gonna say we probably need to chill. We don't need to chill. We almost got him with it. That's not left. Are they going? <laughs> Which way are they actually going? Now I'm scared. Let's see if baby ward comes up clutch. Yeah, okay, okay. So I'm just getting trolled by directions right now. Is that what it is? Might be. This is a really hard matchup, by the way. Uh, yeah, Kim is on that. There goes the farm. We don't really need the purple buff that much, but it does kind of suck to lose the farm from it. It's kind of crazy. Such There's such a big farm difference when you just get your buffs first don't. Um, not like this is going to be devastating or anything, just in general. Like if you ever have a game where you just like get denied your buff and the other person gets their buff off cooldown over and over again, and that can literally be it. Like you cannot die, you can get your waves, but you just get like jungle diff or something, um, especially in solo. And you notice how much of a farm difference there is. You can easily get like level plus leads just off of blue buff or purple buff or something. It's kind of crazy, man. So, like, purple buff, we're not really fighting that much. I don't care, but <laughs> but I do care about XP, though. The XP is nice. All right, I think we're just going to go Aussie. It tends to be nice to... Uh, getting the flat pen from Aussie can be pretty nice on Honor because we've actually got a decent amount of ability-based damage. We'll try and get over to this fight. I don't know if we ever get to. We'll see if we can catch up to him. Oh, this might get real bad for him in a sec. Hang on. Do one of those. Okay, we get the ult, that's fine. I'm assuming this man's got his three, so I'm not gonna waste the ult yet. You not? Okay. <laughs> Why do you not? Nice, that gets Kumba. CC him off a little bit, very good. I'm assuming he's got stuff. Eh. No, don't wiggle on me, stop it. There we go. I think we actually get to do this. That timing was, uh... Do we get to do it? We got a Discordia coming. It might not be trolling. <laughs> it might. I don't know. Heim's even got a potential TP. I don't know if this is most recent or not. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter all that much. He kind of pulled it into the pillar, so he loses a little bit of damage. Oh, Heim's not even coming to this yet. Is he going to do a late TP, or does he just not care? Not care. Scared. 
Nice. All right. Yeah, I'll take a gold. Yeah, they, they honestly got kind of screwed, man. We were just coming back from base. We had a, like a really perfect spot to rotate in. And because in classic fashion, man, when you get that that gank from base diff, um, nobody's ready. If you guys ever have spots where like somebody backs and just because they backed, you don't call missing because they just backed. And then it happens that your team fights in the other team's jungle. And then they yell at you because their ADC rotates from base and you didn't call missing because they backed. You guys ever have stuff like that? People tilt really hard, man. They're not ready for it. They never are. All right, we got our Aussie done. Trans is about to be finished up, which will be good. It's pretty funny, though, actually, <laughs> that I'm 4-0 right now, and we really got, I think, one kill in the early game, right? And then just straight up cleaned up three right there and happened to get every last hit. So now I'm getting nice and juicy here, and Heim's going to get called ADC diff if people get salty on his team, even though he's 0-0. Zero and zero, So, like, what's he supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't murdered me, and that's it? I must go all out. Maybe he's got nice teammates. Maybe he doesn't have to worry about that shit. Okay, can you not? I do kind of want to clap him here. But we are low to start the fight. Oh, that's good, though. Oh. Man, I choked that so hard. Tell me I win this anyways. Okay, we win it anyways, thank god. If I, uh, that was a good fight to take because we had beads and we don't really need beads so far for anything other than high molds. So that was a really good fight to force, but oh my god, missing the impale was bad. If he got his TP off, that would suck so much if we, uh, we never die there unless I get ganked, but, but not getting the kill would have been real bad. Yeah, Heim's got to chill, man. He's got counterplay in this, but, like, I just do damage, so. <laughs> I just do a lot of damage, so unless he's going to be able to actually ult me, I can just play aggro. Basically, the way this matchup tends to go is he wins the beginning of every trade ever if he plays it right. And so far he is. He's doing a good job of basically um, being knockback immune to impale. Normally, normally the jump initiation, but potentially impale with his two, which makes it hard for me to go on him. Um, but then after that, I just have crazy damage between impale and ult. So he's got to chill. He wins the beginning trade. He wins the initiation. And then I farm him a bit. Ah. Uh. Okay, <laughs> this is very anticlimactic right now. We got Koomba mezzed. We got, we got Koomba mezzed. I don't have beads. I don't get to do anything. I was ready though. If Cam actually started getting out, we we're going to try and jump over mid and get a pillar, slow him down a little bit. That maybe would have made the difference. I'm not sure. So now we don't have beads available if we want to fight Heim, which means the fight gets infinitely better for him because he actually gets to use his ult properly and gets way more damage and CC and stuff. However... Uh, we can still try and ult it, so I can't necessarily just jump on his face because he might insult and then things just inherently get bad because I have no mobility and I'm about to get bopped. But if we can ult to counter his ult because we're not like in the air and getting insta ulted, then that's a uh, that's a way for us to use our ult. It's sort of like a beads into damage ability, which will be good. What we doing? I kind of trolled right there. If I didn't knock him away, I think I maybe could have just gotten his ult right there. I really thought we'd hit the pillar impale and we didn't. He was low enough just like the nerve to go up and do that. I should have tried to just kill him. You gonna start getting kills too, or? But instead we just push him away. Whatever. You gonna do it under Towerheim? No? Oh, he actually dipped this time. Look at this. I'm covering my bases, boys. <laughs> Never. <laughs> if he backs, this way I can be like, I called it. <laughs> if he backs and walks straight into mid. Gotta cover those bases, man. All right, uh, God, what do we want to build this game? On her, it's really nice at the moment to build him uh, pretty, ooh, yoink. Pretty attack speed focused because he just doesn't really get any through his kit. There we go. He doesn't, he just doesn't get to live through that. Man's got to chill. We didn't get the CC. We don't need the CC. We just do a lot of damage. I feel bad, man. He really, he honestly got really screwed by just me going over and cleaning up a fight. Okay, I think we just go a fail now. We got good money for it, and it'll be a really strong power spike at the moment. In general, fail that's a little bit of a weird on her item, because the passive is not very reliable at all. A lot of time your ulting is either a disengage, you're using it for like a CC immune, or your ulting is like a cleanup, because you actually get your full movement, so you can just run somebody down and clean them up with ult. So a lot of time we don't get the like extra crit value from the passive. But other than that, like on her's a fairly ability based ADC, the pass is really good. We get pen, we get power, we get cooldown. We like that. Crit is good. I'm okay with some crit. See if we gotta do anything mid. Oh, that was a fat sil bolt. Come here. Okay. 
<laughs> Anytime I go anywhere, man, we are getting insta Kumba CC'd. Have a tower! Wait, don't hurt me, though. Okay, I might need to chill. I'm also whiffing. I do have Aegis, though. Yeah, let me back it up a little bit. Okay, we almost have the ult. Int! Hey, it wasn't an int! I don't, does Kama not have ult? We just kind of got to farm him there. I don't know if he just really got CC comboed that hard, or if uh, if he just didn't even have it up. Hey, Heim. Man, I didn't call enemy missing right. <laughs> now they're going to get mad at me. Oh, no. Not the Heim gank. Damn, Discordia is feeling it. Oh, my God. If I ult him, I can maybe bait his ult, but there shouldn't be any way we kill him, so I'm not going to try him. It's probably not worth. Hang on, let me get some... We have a crazy pressure right now, so let me get some really deep wards. Try and yoink this real quick if we can. Gimme. Alright, so I think... At this point, we're probably just going to full commit to the crit build. You can really build on her so many different ways, man. You can go for a little bit more of an early game build. You can go for more of a late game build. You can just do like the attack speed, silver branch, kins, like basically any ADC can build. There's a lot of different stuff that's open at the moment. So I think we'll probably look for like a little wind demon into silver branch. Just get like some crit online, but not really full commit to anything. Just get a pretty well balanced build if we can. Honestly, if this if this game stays like <laughs> if we're getting enough kills, it's probably not really. But if we keep getting a lot of kills, man, maybe we just uh go for that cheeky blood forge. It's been a while since I had a cheeky blood forge ADC game. But oh my god, they're good when it's when it works, when you're actually getting the value, oh it's disgusting. Nothing like a hunter with bonus move speed and just a big ass shield. Alright, let me dip. We'll start working on uh start working on Wind Demon right here. I was already Sell this because we're never gonna use it ever. Enemy. Huge call. Oh my god. Look at that. Coming out of base, goes over the god ward. Easy comms. Wait, we are six levels up on their mid right now. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Damn, their poor team. Kama, Kama and so they're their solo. Kama and could call and have legit all the kills. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, that was a good time to crit. Okay, I wish we had the angle to CC him there. Or here, boom! What? what did you guys see that skip? What, what was that shit, man? That's a little cheaty. Just let me let me perfectly line up this on her ult, and this man, this man can just skip ahead a little bit. Oh my god. Alright, I'm assuming they're actually going to stop. Yeah, they're dipping. Oh, we're not doing gold? Oh, we could have gone for gold really easy there. I just wanted to defend tier 2. The farm is crazy this game, man. What a funky one. It's really funny. I actually, I, I straight up still feel bad that, that we're this far ahead over Heim. He's really played fine. Um, We just got so fed off of that one just coincidental rotation. I didn't play it nutty. We just walked out of base and did some stuff. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't anything that insane, but oh my god, did it lead to a lot. And then it snowballed, right? Like obviously not literally everything is just inherently because of that, but but it does snowball a lot off of it. Oh my the calls are on point, baby. Here comes the Heim gank right now. Right right now. Damn it, man. I thought I could sync it up. He's not even there, he's in right lane. She actually live? <laughs> wow. The Discordia was running for her life for so long, man. Okay, we might just have to go right lane. Right, we can probably... Ooh. Can we? If we kill Kumba, we can... <laughs> what is this? What is this man's internet? Oh my god. Come here! Okay. Yeah, we can probably just... Uh, I guess if they want to do mid, we can do mid... I think, like, we can legit big FG is the thing. I might push tier 2. We're all back. Yeah, if they're down, if they're feeling it, we do just have five people. And and their cam is not back up. And their Yuhong super behind. So I think it's kind of free. Do it. Big. 
Did they even get here in time? Yeah, it might just be free. Nice. Hey, Goomba. Be He's not afraid. He's not. A you gotta be afraid. Okay. Well, apparently he doesn't have to be afraid. Let's try and get a tiny bit more farm real quick. Get, uh, get Cal finished up. I'm gonna try and not be a dick though, <laughs> and and overcome the impulse to just instantly impale this Gordia's wave when she probably doesn't even get to split the XP. That would have been a little bit rude, especially since I'm level 20 and have been level 20, and she's still a measly little level 17, just a baby. All right, let's go get this done. Nice. We actually get a, uh, a pretty decent amount of attack speed. Not too bad. If we get the Windyman proc and we get the actual aura proc on Cal right now, and I guess when we get purple buff, we'll actually be getting new the cap. Be pumping out some damage. Sylv, come here. I need to see the numbers. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. 2.33 if we got every... Oh, he's got a Shogun's. <laughs> okay, that's, <laughs> that's super biased. Never mind. Never mind, man. Yeah, that does help a little bit. Oh. Yeah, we didn't get the best timing right there. With, like, anybody? We just kind of all trolled each other? It's okay. Can you stop? <laughs> I am so sick of this man's shit. Yeah, we gotta get Kumba some of them, right? Oh god, I'm coming, boys. Oh. Are you... What is the timing happening right now? This man really just jumps the pillar impale? No, he's dead. He's dead. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, I was hoping we could wall him right there. That would have been so good. Yeah, we maybe should have not chased and just done the free mid, mid Phoenix, because I think we had time to, but but whatever. Oh, I could do it to him. Oh, I could do him so dirty. Now, what do we even build next? Just Silver Branch, probably? Yeah, probably just Silver Branch. This will be a super normal build. I miss the Crusher days, man. I really do. I wish ability based on her was more of a build at the moment. They nerfed his ult a decent amount a while ago, so it's just not as big of a deal, but the... Oh, we almost got the angle for it. Come here. Okay, if I ever get jumped, that'd be great. Okay, we might get ganked by Kama, so I'm going to back it up. Otherwise, it'd go really hard. That sucks, man. If we had jump any sooner, it didn't feel like we should be able to ult uh, Heim there, because I'm pretty sure just his ult was up and his Aegis is up, so we just don't really get to kill him that way. But if I had my jump, we could have just gotten the distance to actually like close that out. And Koomba showed up, though. All right, let me one more wave, and then we'll go dip. Start working on our Silver Branch a little bit. By the way, if you guys aren't spinning in midair is, <laughs> is Honor, just because you can, you're not playing them right. I don't know when I picked this up. I think I picked this up like a year ago and I just kind of do it. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't think about it. It's not that I'm that entertained. It's just subconscious at this point. You just have to do it, man. It just it just adds a little spice to your life. You know, you got time. It's it's pretty easy to not fuck up. Like if I mid fight, I'm probably not going to do it. But other than that, can you just stack, please, so I can farm these people, man? OK, hopefully we get the angle to catch him with this. Yeah, get the wall. Oh. I guess we should have done that sooner. Oh! Oh! Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he does just have everything. All right. That's too bad, man. That's fine. I think we played that pretty decent. We got really bad timing there with Yu Huang and Kama coming out of their lane. What? Do you have... He does. He has animal. I guess that makes sense. You can go benevolence and animosity and just do a billion damage. That's kind of gross. That's actually this is the rare animosity build that just like works. It's just cohesive. It, it co oh my god. I cannot speak today, man. I randomly just lose words. 
I honestly, I might need to go to a doctor. It's been happening lately. It's bugging the shit out of me. It's not like I haven't been talking. It's not like I haven't been recording. I have random things where I mess up like the placement of consonants in words as I say them. And it's not that I don't know the word or I can't picture the word. It just comes out wrong. And it's scary, man. I swear it's the type of stuff where like you're old and something happens and then that starts to happen, right? It, ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't want to think about my mortality, boys. <laughs> Mast isn't going to be a YouTube channel forever. <laughs> I don't have long. All right, should we go to a fire giant real quick? Did I just start thinking about that because I died? That might be all it took. Dying in smite means I question my mortality? Hmm. Because that was, that was during the death timer of <laughs> first death in game. I don't know. Okay, why are we still, how has it been literally, it's got to be over a minute, right, since I died and we died up there fighting and it's just like round two. In proper conquest deathmatch fashion. Oh. Yeah, come here so I can actually do damage. If I ult them, it doesn't do that much. But if I crit them, it's going to slap. Can we, <laughs> in such awkward timing right now, man. Just be dead. No. Stop doing damage. Oh, I want to do it to him. I want to do it to myself. <laughs> the tower's OP. Nerf tower. Tower really had two shots. It had two shots and it did a quarter of my health. That's probably fair. That's not even that much. Early game, it would have been a lot. At this point, that's pretty reasonable, right? I just shouldn't have vented because I was so greedy. Oh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that was pretty anticlimactic, man. I was feeling it, and, and Discordia just gets to walk away. All right, maybe let me chill a little bit. Our, our last death was pretty reasonable. Or, well, the death before this one, that death was dumb as hell. So I might need to, uh, to chill out and, like, win the game, I think. Because our fights are going okay, but we're not really getting anything done. And we could just straight up throw if we don't start getting something done. Let me get one of these bad boys done. God, look at the damage that we've been pumping out with the on her autos. I feel like um, on her somebody, I don't know. I don't know what you on her gamers feel like. But for me personally, he's somebody I used to love so much. He's my favorite ADC for a long time. And lately when I've played him, I normally haven't felt like he's been able to do that much damage. And he feels kind of bad, uh, which is still kind of sort of true. And we're just not seeing as much. But I feel like we've been getting good crit RNG. Or, or something. I don't know. Maybe we've just, we just been hitting hard. Um, but I feel like I've been actually getting some fat autos. And a lot of time it's been kind of hard to get fat autos. Maybe this is just the build right here. The perfect mesh where we get like a ton of attack speed. The crits actually hit hard. We get a decent amount of them. We have plenty of pen. I have lifesteal. Like a bunch of different stuff. Right, let me just go back. Well, we'll walk. We'll take the scenic route over. Or we could big brain wait for a uh, <laughs> for an enhanced, wait an entire two minutes. It's not like anything will go wrong in those two minutes, right? They won't just start catching up and hitting level twenty. That's crazy. Somehow their camo is so under farmed, so behind that. Even though he's been fragging for the most part throughout the game, he's been doing fine. He uh, he only just hit level twenty. Like Kumba's almost caught up. All right, well, there's a fire giant. That didn't take long. You think somebody will goof actually get caught? Probably not. Oh, I want him. Oh my God, I want to jump in so bad. I'm going to stop. I, I remember what happened last time. I'm going to chill a bit, but I want to do it. Are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That <laughs> definitely, definitely made sense. This man really just slimmed down mid impale. Okay, we are barely avoiding this Yuhong poke. Yuhong poke is so obnoxious, man. He's capable of doing so much with it. Okay, I gotta chill. I gotta not tank a full tower. We, we casually juke Kumba ult on accident, so that's good. 
by a little bit of time with Aegis, but we're definitely dead. Yeah, we don't really get to do much there. Hopefully, fight goes okay. They committed a lot onto me. There's really not much we get to do there. It was kind of a bad time to ult. It ended up working out really awkwardly. Like, the moment I ulted, Camo went really hard on me. So we didn't get a lifesteal quite as much, but it probably didn't matter. We probably would have been too anti-healed to lifesteal much. You yeah, nice. They did They did actually clean it up a decent amount. Yeah, when we get, like, Kakoan Blink into ult, into, uh, Kama Blink into ult, and, <laughs> and we and we jump over the Kumba ult, like, that's just, that's a lot of dive. It's going to be hard for us to stay alive. That's okay. As long as we do damage back and they get punished for going that hard on me, it'll tend to be a good fight still. Nice, we do get the Phoenix. Oh, get him! Come on, get that baby bit. That little bit. Oh, he goofed. Oh, he goofed so hard. That's too bad. All right, give me another one of these. And let me, I don't even know if we're gonna up, use it anytime soon, but we'll go ahead and upgrade it. It might do some damage to Camo. Probably not. We'll probably just be dying to Camo while he's in the air and be incapable of doing damage to him, but otherwise it might actually get some value. Guys, too bad. Going into the Camo jungle, <laughs> it's so boring, man. So often in these fights, if he just wants to focus me, like, we're probably going to die. The thing is, like, other people have to also focus me to do enough damage, at least normally. And then uh, and then he's normally going to die for committing that hard. Oh, that's too bad. We almost could have killed him there. Get these minions out of here so I can clap. I want to go so hard, but I don't know where Yu Hong is, so I'm not going to do it. Do a little baby bit. These minions out of my way, man. Okay, I want to get the Phoenix done if we can. We might be dead in a sec. As they actually commit. Oh, we didn't get the range there. That's too bad. Get out of here. Dude, I cannot land these impales right now. Try and keep creating a little bit of distance for ourselves. Loki's coming in, maybe get a turn? Probably not. Oh, we did a bit to him, though. God, so close, man. That was a good engage on the Heim, whatever. And we finally caught somebody sleeping. There was finally a single moment where they're not... <laughs> Where they're not 100% aware of exactly what the honor is trying to do. They've been so afraid, man. Oh, Kumba. Dude, what is happening? Hello? How is he getting impaled at weird angles? <laughs> Did that happen when we impaled him before and he didn't go into the pillar? It just like he just moved to the left somehow? Or, well, not exactly. He phased through on the left side somehow. So maybe it's maybe it's a different type of bullshit. I don't know. And there we impale him, and I, you know, naturally impale, put person in line, right? Knock them back straight in front of you. Somehow autos don't connect, because he just randomly went to the side. Kind of clunky. It didn't matter, he would have lived anyways, but <laughs> I'm still salty about it because it's dumb. Because it's stupid. Alright, we should make sure that we're getting over to Fire Giant in just a second here. Let me dip. All right, boys, can we clean this game up? This won't be That's my boy right there. He can All right, hopefully they don't overcommit. Hopefully we're fine. Because I feel like Cam is going to come in and clean up. Me, Master. No, we just we just chilling. Oh my god, this Kumba dude. <laughs> I actually swear, I swear this is actually sus, man. It's so weird. Maybe it's just been coincidence. Maybe it's just something I've noticed. It really feels like if I press buttons a lot of the time, that's when he starts to lag. His movement feel- Look at- Look! It really feels like it just kind of lines up with what's good for him. Doesn't it? We gonna clean you up? Not when he's got an ult. Okay, you do get him eventually, right? Okay, I don't think we actually get an end here because Robin's chasing down Kumba. 
Otherwise, we could have. We get a Scordian SX, so I should be fine here. Oh my god, it doesn't reach, man. That was that was so close to being free. I thought we could just like max range it. You're still chasing him? <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's still trying to kill this Koomba, man. Alright, have some wall. What? Do they have six? Or did Sylv just end? Okay, they have six. I was like, I don't know how this man's ending Titan somehow. Well, that's that's one way. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they were just really sick of this whole like ending phase where we were like kind of winning but not finishing game for so long. I don't know, man. Yeah, that was a weird ass game. That was kind of a conquest deathmatch game, but it was a good one. We played pretty well overall. Managed to get a good impact out of the honor. Yeah, 44k, not too bad, man. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.